Greetings and salutations in service to the one I am, Amber Dawn Star, practical mystic, energetic activist, and for over 34 years, master breathologist. Welcome back to my community. Well, happy, happy solstice, happy winter solstice today. It is so great to finally shift from the fall to the winter where, you know, rest is important, going within is important, and, and all life needs that. All, all life needs rest and, and going within and, and being quiet. And so today is about all of those things and celebrating, celebrating the um, coming back of the light because even though this is um, the first day of winter, within that yin yang is the seed of light. So because it will now begin, the days will start getting longer and more light. Isn't that amazing? I mean, that's the yin yang, right? In, in the winter solstice is the seed of summer. And in the summer solstice, where it's all bright and light, it's actually the seed of winter. <laughs> I love that. So, how y'all doing out there today? I've been in ceremony all day. It's about uh, 4.09 my time. And I'm getting ready. To, I'm doing this now because I have another ceremony to be involved with at 5 uh, worldwide. And also this morning, worldwide. So... There's a lot of people today doing ceremony. There's a lot of people uh, acknowledging the love and the light that's coming through today for our winter solstice. The gifts that we can share with each other. Of course, Christmas is in a few days. And of course, you know, this Christmas this carries a lot of hope, also sadness, joy, also depression, <laughs> it's like we are on the uh, teeter-totter of everything at this point. But it's good to remember the light that's coming back today, starting today. It's, it's coming back. The days will actually start to become longer. So if you can today, do some ceremony. Uh, if you do tarot, pick a card or pick a few. I do this every new moon and solstice and equinoxes, a whole ceremony, <laughs> which I just got out of. And now I'm doing this as part of my ceremony. And then I'm going into another one in about 45 minutes. So if you can do the tarot, do please pull a card or past, present, future, or the Celtic spread. There's a lot of spreads out there. Pick one. Do one if you have the wherewithal. Um, if not, you can go online. There's a lots and lots of tarot readers online. Good ones. Um, Baba Jilly's is a really good one. Uh, consciousness Evolu... <laughs> okay, Consciousness Evolution Journey is another. Um, uh, Secret Shaman Oracle, The Gangster the original spiritual gangster she's good also uh, leo king of course uh, minnow pond also there's a lot of good ones out there um jenny burak astrology for ascension kai pacha of course so if you want you can look at your sign and see what's what for you today and what's coming <laughs> uh, yeah Oh boy, what's coming? Well, there's a lot, 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 lot of what's coming. Um, but um, that's for a different video. <laughs> Today I'm just attempting to keep it light and joyful and um, utilizing the energies of the winter solstice today and um, Bringing in the light, bringing in the love, bringing in the joy of this season, bringing in the peace, bringing in the hope and the trust and the faith. 
I've been asking for a Christmas miracle myself personally in my in my life and in my well in my life <laughs> not just for me but for the people that are still in my life my family and the few friends that are still there of course um, praying for them intending for them uh, just sending out love and joy and peace and forgiveness compassion you know all the love things of Christmas Christmas is about love Christmas is about um, the birth of a person that changed the world and is still changing the world um, not necessarily born on Christmas Day uh, if you do some research, you'll find that actually he was probably born in, you know, the spring. Because if you read the Bible, the animals were still in the field, and in the winter, they're not. So, there's another bubble burst. <laughs> but, and, so, who knows? I mean, who knows exactly the day? This is a couple thousand years ago. Can you even remember this morning? <laughs> So, we, we just utilize the day, and of course, okay, fine, pick one. Here's a day, December 25th. That's, you know, when the Christians took over, especially the, the, the Sea Church, they adopted the pagan rituals of uh, the people. And uh, the winter solstice was a very big pagan ritual pagan meaning not religious but totally in tune with the earth and the natural cycles of things and the way things you know have moved, been moving along for thousands and thousands of years the pagans were that close to the earth to celebrate so today is one of those pagan holidays <laughs> and Christmas too actually but you know however whatever you celebrate Christmas or holidays or Kwanzaa or you know Passover whatever just celebrate just find some place in your life find some place in your group of friends and family that you can share joy with that you can share your blessings with because you know of course there are blessings that are still happening right now and that's what we need to focus on we need to focus on the blessings we need to focus on the love and the light and not the fear and the darkness and of course you know they, they seem to be really <laughs> going at it right now and in a way they are because there is so much light coming to the planet right now I know a lot of you can feel that some of you can't it's okay it's still happening whether you feel it or not it's still happening it's like the stars they're there all the time whether it's night or day they're there you might not be able to see them obviously during the day you can't and sometimes at night if it's cloudy or rainy or storming or you know tornadoing or hurricaning you won't be able to see them either, but they're always there. So that's like your guides and your spiritual and your high self and your spiritual people and your people that help you along the way that are unseen. They're there. They're always there. And they're just waiting for you to say, oh, hi, I see you and welcome and come on in. <laughs> Come on in and come on down and help me out because ah, I don't know when the last time you were on this planet, but whoa, it's changed, especially in the last couple of years and will continue. Like I've said several times on these videos, um, there's a lot more coming in January. That'll start 2022 <laughs> when the uh, nodes of the moon shift. So, please, have a wonderful solstice. Celebrate. 
the little things, if you're really, you know, have a loving family, definitely call them. Don't flip flop and text. Pick up a phone, which I'm sure you have like right there or here, and call them and tell them you love them and that you miss them and that you're glad and happy that they're part of your family. When we do this on a larger scale, we know that the people in our family are our soul family. We have decided to do these lessons together. It's no accident, your family. <laughs> Darn it. And you're not a victim of your family. You are part and parcel of that whole soul tribe and you are all working at your karma together. It helps if you know that. <laughs> It helps a little bit. I'm, I'm not saying it like completely like, okay, well, that's why. No, it doesn't. However, if you can just keep coming back to that realization that this is all playing out on a larger, much larger field than just our human 3D dimension. Because, of course, we're way more than just the 3D body that we're in right now. We are multi-level beings. We are living on multiple levels, multiple dimensions, multiple timelines. And, you know, depending on your timeline, you can be awesome in this timeline and you can be a real <laughs> in another with the same people. <laughs> Shiza. So, you know, that might help. <laughs> Just a little, a little help to like sort it all out and Try to understand and, of course, surrender and give it over. So, I'm wishing you just the best beginning of winter. I'm intending that your winter is the best winter you've ever experienced. And just share the love now. Do things that bring you joy. One of the things that I received today was, you know, singing. <laughs> and I love to sing. I sing every single day. Um, I just love to do it. it. It brings me joy. So I'm going to attempt to sing a, a, just a brief song. Usually when I attempt this song, I cry <laughs> because it just touches me that deeply. But I will attempt to get through it just as a gift from me to you in my joy. The river she is flowing Blowing and see, <laughs> have our time <laughs> and flowing the river. <laughs> joy, <laughs> it's just joy. <laughs> you could have tears of joy. The river, she is flowing down to the sea <laughs> oh mother carry me a little child i'll always be oh mother carry me down to the sea the river she is flowing Flowing and flowing, the river she is flowing down to the sea. <laughs> so just know that your life and your presence, your spark, makes you you. It's part of all that is. And you and God are one. And the river is your soul flowing, always flowing. I hope that wasn't too terrible for your ears. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me again today. I appreciate all of you that are still sticking around. 
And please, you know, like and subscribe and ring the bells and comment if you'd like. That'd be great. I wish you the best winter solstice and the best winter of your lives. Om Namah Shivaya. In La Catch. Namaste. El Kalimo. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. God willing. <laughs>